designing suitable experimental procedures. Well, there's two of them. Let me draw this out at times 64 speed. And here are the two setups. On the left, we have a polystyrene cup. That's a good thermal insulator. It will keep any energy released in the system. A thermometer to measure temperature change and the reaction, possibly an acid on a base or something like that. And make sure the reaction starts in the cup. Don't react it outside. Delta H is minus MC delta T, so it's the mass of what you're heating, the specific heat capacity of what you're heating or what gets heated, and the change in temperature of what gets heated. And the negative, uh, well, I like to put it in, other people don't. For the second example, we have a, a calorimeter, we have some water there, and underneath is a fuel that's being burnt in a burner. And so the energy is going to be transferred by combustion to the water in the can. Some draft proofing will also give you better results. And again, that would be delta H equals minus MC delta T for what's being heated. 